Good morning, YouTube. I am Bearded Inc. And today I want to cover the Twitch Ad Manager. Specifically, I want to cover the right settings to keep the ads from becoming a nuisance on your stream and keeping your viewers from becoming pissed off. The first thing you want to do, though, is make sure that you do these controls from the Twitch dashboard on your computer, as the Twitch app doesn't have everything that we're going to need. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to Twitch, go to your page, you want to log in if you're not already, and you want to click on your little avatar over here and go to the creator dashboard. Inside the dashboard, we're going to go to two places, and the first is under settings and then affiliate. The affiliate page is basically where you came when you first got in uh, and shows you everything that you can do now as an affiliate as an opposed to a non affiliate. And at the very bottom, you're going to see the ads manager set up here. We're going to go from the bottom to the top and explain everything so that you know what's going on. But the first thing at the bottom here is the stream display ads. This is just a little toggle. You can have these on or off. I suggest that you have them on. Basically, what these are is the little banner ad. So you, when these run, there are 10 to 15 second ads that you don't control, but you do get the revenue for, and they don't disrupt your stream. Uh, when somebody's watching your stream, your video screen will actually shrink up. There will be a little banner ad at the bottom with no volume. It doesn't uh, cover your view, uh, your video, and it doesn't stop your audio in the game. And then when the ad banner goes away, your video screen comes back full size. Um, and sometimes, not always, but sometimes these banner ads will run instead of the full cover the video uh, ad break that you see a lot of the time. So having these enabled will help minimize our streaming disruptions. The revenue share for advertisements is just an information panel. It basically tells you how much you are earning from uh, each view of your ad. It's, there are no settings in there. The next thing up is the pre-roll notifications. Now this toggle is purely up to you whether you want to have it on or off. I have it off and I will explain why later. Um, but basically what this is going to do is it's going to tell you and only you as the broadcaster of your stream when an ad is upcoming and if pre-roll ads are on or off. The pre-roll ads have two radio button options. You can either keep the pre-roll ads on your channel or you can disable pre-roll ads when you run ads. But here's the thing, you're always going to be running ads. So if you're one of those people that keeps the pre-roll ads on, you need to go and sit on a hot poker, spin slowly and say hello to Satan when you go meet him. Basically, here's the difference. There's two types of ads on Twitch. There's pre-roll and mid-roll. The pre-roll ads are the ones that we get annoyed with the most. When you see them, you go click on somebody's stream for the very first time and you're met with an ad right away. The mid-roll ads are the ones that come along during the stream, after the stream is already live. And if you have the pre-roll ads on your channel, when the mid-roll ads run, the pre-roll ads will still run for somebody coming into your channel. So now imagine you're a viewer of your channel, and they come to your channel right before you're starting a mid-roll ad run. They're going to get the pre-roll ad because they're still turned on because they just joined your channel. They're going to make it through their pre-roll ads. They're going to see your video for a minute, and then they're going to get hit with the mid-roll ads. They're going to have up to five minutes worth of ads before they ever see your content. Again, disable pre-roll ads when I run ads. If you have any other thing on here, uh, close this video and don't come back because we're no longer friends. For the rest of us, we're going to continue on. The ads manager, this is where you're going to do all of the setup. So we're going to click into here and we're going to take a look at everything. Um, again, we'll go bottom to top because it makes more sense for me that way. So the start delay, basically, this is how long the ads manager will wait from the time you go live before it starts running the scheduled ads. You can see on the slider here, you have a minimum of one minute and a maximum of 
30 minutes. The shorter the time frame, the less you're going to have pre-roll ads on yours. And you cannot disable this completely. The lowest you can go is one minute, which is what I suggest you set it to. And then we're going to look at the ad length. So you have here the ad length, another slider that goes from 30 seconds to three minutes in 30 second increments. And we're going to cover this a bit more, but you want to have this at a minute 30. That's 90 seconds worth of ads. And keep in mind, I know you have a lot of viewers that complain about how many ads they've seen. I got, you know, come somebody coming in my chat said, I just got six ads or somebody. I got eight ads or somebody else says, oh, I only got two ads. It's not the number of ads that Twitch worries about. It's the total length of that ad break. Um, so, for example, somebody on your stream might get four ads in this same break where somebody else only gets two. The difference is the first person got four 15 second ads and the other person got two 30 second ads. And there can be any combination of that in there. Uh, so for the 90 seconds, you can have two 30 second ads and you know uh, two 15 second ads. Uh, so the number of ads doesn't matter and we don't have control over that. We have control over how long they run for. You only set this for a minute and a half, no more and no less. And when we get over to this site over here, I'll explain why. The ad spacing, you want to set this to 30 minutes. The minimum is eight. The maximum is an hour. But you want to set this to 30 minutes. And again, I'll explain why. And let's go ahead and do that right now. Because the ad schedule timeline is what we're going to be looking at. So as you can see, the blue line is when you're streaming. Solid yellow is when an ad runs. And then the little yellow uh, checkered line here is the pre-roll ads so as you can see we look down here if i if i set the delay up this is let's say we set it for 15 minutes that means anybody joining your stream in the first 15 minutes that you go live is going to get hit with a pre-roll ad no matter what unless they're subscribed then at the 15 minute mark Twitch is going to run an ad break and whether they just joined your stream at 14 minutes or not, they're going to get another ad break. That's why we set this to a minute because once you go live, you have 60 seconds of window where pre-roll ads run and then your ad manager starts kicking in. The likelihood of somebody coming in in that first 60 seconds to get a pre-roll ad and then get hit with the, um, the mid-roll ads is very, very slim. And this keeps the pre-roll ads basically off for the entire stream. Now, again, the 90 seconds, as you can see, if we go and make this longer, two minutes, two and a half minutes, three minutes worth of ads, that means every time an ad runs, it's going to run for this length. And as you can see, the little lines got thicker. It means there's less time for your active stream between ad breaks and there's no other benefit. You're not going to get more money. You're not going to get uh, anything else, and they're not going to take pre-roll ads off longer. However, if you go below a minute and a half or 90 seconds, as you can see, the pre-roll ads come back. And if we go all the way down to 30 seconds, pre-roll ads are pretty much your entire stream. So what this means is like if you set this to a minute, the mid-roll ad break, sure, they're only going to be a minute long, but it's only going to keep pre-roll ads off for, for 15 minutes. So once this ad runs, another 15 minutes, and then anybody joining your stream will get hit with the pre-roll ad and then the mid-roll ad at the half hour mark. So think about somebody like raiding in. If you've just run a pre-roll ad, or excuse me, if you've just run a mid-roll ad and somebody raids in at the two minute mark, then you're fine. Nobody's going to get a pre-roll. Nobody's going to get a mid-roll. And everybody that comes in in the raid is going to be able to hoop and holler and hype it up right then without any breaks. However, if you get a, a, a raid at the 19-minute mark, everybody that comes in with that raid that's not subscribed to your channel, which is probably going to be most of them, they're all going to get hit with a pre-roll ad. And then a couple minutes later, they're all going to get hit with a mid-roll ad. This is obviously not ideal. 
set the ad length to a minute and a half. You maximize uh, pre-roll ads being turned off for 30 minutes, which again is why we set the spacing to 30 minutes. So now every time a mid-roll ad runs, it turns the pre-roll ads off for half an hour. And then at 30 minutes, when pre-roll ads would come back on, we're going to run another minute and a half ad break to keep pre-roll ads off. So the only ads that are going to show on your channel to people that are not subscribed to you are the mid-roll ads every half an hour. That's the best we can do, and it keeps the pre-roll ads off, which is what we really, as viewers, get pissed off the most about. So once you have those set, you want to come down here and turn this toggle on, the ad schedule, to activate the schedule that you've just created. And, uh, get everything set to go. This little box here is your rundown. It shows you your scheduled ads per hour, which should be at three minutes per hour. This will give you your revenue share split, which the maximum is 55. And if you run three minutes an hour and set it up just like this, you're going to have the 55% pre-roll ads for incoming viewers will be disabled. And you can set up an upcoming ad break notification. Again, this is just for you like we saw earlier on the other page. Uh, you can s turn it off. You can set it to 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, or 20 minutes before an ad starts. Uh, if you have the toggle turned off on the previous page, you can ignore this. Otherwise, you can set it to whatever you like. If you're one of those that watches your stream dashboard, uh, it may be useful for, for you. For me personally, it's not, so I don't really care. But let's go over what that is. Uh, after you have everything set here, you want to make sure you click on Save Changes, and then we can go back to our previous page, scroll back down, and we have one last thing, and that is the Ads toggle. Make sure that this is toggled on. After you've done all of this, your ads are set up the way they should be with no pre-rolls, mid-rolls every 30, se or 30 minutes, and they only run for 90 seconds. The last thing we want to look at is on the stream manager page itself. So when you go here, as you can see, you have your quick actions uh, and they may be at the bottom by default or wherever you have them on the right hand side. Uh, depends on where you move them at. Um, but if you go to click add new and then click on monetize, you'll see that you have the option to add buttons for running ad breaks. 30 seconds, one minute, one minute, 30 seconds, which is what we want to add. If you want to add button, um, two minutes, two and a half and three minutes, and then snooze ads. You can snooze your ads for five minutes. Now, if you are one of the ones that watches your stream dashboard and you have that, uh, notification of upcoming ads turned on, this might be a button that you also want to add. And what that's going to do is down here. You can see I have the one minute and 30 second ad. This will turn green when I go live uh, and or when you go live, it'll be green and it'll show you anytime it runs the 90 second ads, which is every 30 minutes, uh, this will have a little countdown up in the top. You see where it says the pre-roll is on. That will turn the pre-roll off and start a 30 minute countdown. So this little dash here will turn into 30 minutes, 29, 59, 29, 58, et cetera, on down to the 30 minutes. Having this set to run every 30 minutes keeps the pre-rolls off. So this is where you'll be notified that pre-rolls are either on or off. And then while this is running, it'll tell you how long that ad is running for. So right now it's set for a minute 30. Once it becomes active, it'll start counting down a minute 29, a minute 28, et cetera. Now, if you have that toggle on from the other menu uh, for notifications, you'll get a little indicator on here that'll say add upcoming in three minutes, five minutes, whatever you have it set as. And that is when you can click the snooze ad button and it'll move that the ad break five minutes uh, down the timeline. However, if you do that, it will increase the pre-roll ad because it's been 30 minutes since the last ad break. So you want to make sure that if you are snoozing, you're doing it for a good reason because you will re-enable pre-roll ads for that five minutes. Other than that, that is all that you need to do for your ads. This button here will allow you to click it and run an ad break if you want to. 
If you have the ad manager set up the way we just covered, you won't ever have to worry about that and your ads will run automatically with the least disruption to your streams. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure you subscribe, like the channel, and tell your friends all about it. And if you want to see more, there are links in the description to the 1445 website where we cover more streaming resources and tips and tricks to help you become a better streamer. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you then.